All the rhodium mined in a whole year could theoretically fit in a couple of large crates. Now, coupled a minuscule supply with a high demand, especially from the auto industry and the industrial sectors we've discussed, but because the market is so small, it doesn't take much to upset the balance. Now, when an ounce of metal is worth more than a brand new car, it's bound to attract thieves and opportunists. Indeed, a wave of catalytic converter thefts struck many countries during the price surge. Thieves would saw off the converters from parked cars to extract the rhodium, alongside with the palladium and the platinum, inside and sell them to scrap dealers. Now, this meant that many car owners woke up to the loud roar from their engine and a hefty repair bill. And this was basically a telltale sign that the catalytic converter was gone. This is a direct consequence of rhodium's rarity and value in the modern world. Now, since that peak, rhodium prices have come down substantially. As of now, they are a fraction of the 2021 high, though still several times the price of gold. Now, this retreat happened as supply caught up a bit and the demand leveled off. And perhaps as the market uh, anticipated the rise of electric vehicles which don't use catalytic converters. But make no mistake, rhodium is still extremely expensive. We're talking thousands of dollars per ounce, even in normal times. It consistently trades as one of the priciest elements because there is just never enough of it to go around. Another reason why it stays expensive is that extracting and refining rhodium is laborious and costly. Think of the chemical process Wollaston went through to isolate rhodium. Modern methods are obviously more efficient, but it remains complex. Refineries have to dissolve tons of materials, separate multiple precious metals via intricate chemical steps, and finally isolate the tiny fraction that is rhodium. And that is not cheap. Also, because rhodium's market is small, it's not traded on big public commodity exchanges the way gold or oil are. It's often sold through specialized dealer. This can lead to somewhat illiquid market where prices jump around with small shifts in trading. All these factors together explain why rhodium commands such a high price. It's the classic case of something that's incredibly rare and incredibly useful. A recipe for being valued like a king. 